So just, you know, do the knowledge to this. Genesis 6, verse 2 to 4. The sons, the sons of the ruler saw that the daughters of man were good, and they took themselves wives from whomever they choose. And Hashem said, My spirit shall not contend evermore concerning man, since he is but flesh. His day shall be a hundred and twenty years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also after when the sons of the rulers would consort with the daughters of man, who would bear to them, they, they were the mighty who from old were men of devastation. Islam? Muhammad, who was the, um, how you pronounce the word? Nep Nephilim. The Nephilim. Nephilim. All right, you know, you want to give me the accent. What, who yeah. Is that? Yeah. Oh, who are the Extra degree, I know, right? you know. So he had to get, you know, fly with it. I, I see you more. You gonna come up here soon? I'm watching. Giants. So when it in Hebrew they call it the Bang Elohim, the mm -hmm. sons of gods or the rulers. These rulers made it with um with with human beings. So and they became men of renown. Sometimes they say um they became giants in the earth. That also, it don't also mean physically being giants, it also can mean being mental giants. It's not. With supreme knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So it's how you want to, you know, dive into that. You want to take a little bit dealing with they were physical giants or were they mental giants. So man is made in the image of Allah. That every man seen in the image of Allah, that every person looks like Allah. Man does not look like the Creator. So, when it talks about we made in the image and likeness of Allah, it's not talking about the Supreme being the One. It's talking about that we have the holy breath of Allah, the Creator, in us. But we are made in the image of, but we are Elohim. So, when talking about we made in the image and likeness of the Most High, is because you have the holy breath, the Oath, in us. Give me the Holy Quran of Mecca, I mean, Moorish Quran, chapter 8. Chapter 8, verse 9 to 11. <coughs> Y'all following me, Moors? Islam. Chapter 8, Jesus reveals to the, to the people of their sinful ways. Verse 8 to 11. And all the people said, Teach us to know the Holy One who speaks within the heart, a loud, the still, small voice. And Jesus said, The holy breath cannot be seen with mortal eyes, nor can men see the spirit of the Holy One. But in their image man was made, and he, and he who looks into the face of man looks at the image of Allah who speaks within. It's long. The holy breath, you hear what he's saying? It's long. And when man honors man, he honors Allah. And what man does for man, he does for Allah. It's long. It's long. So it's telling you that the holy breath that dwells in man is that which is the, most, the image and likeness of Allah. It's the holy breath. That you cannot see the holy breath. It's long. It's long. So even still, even in Hebrew, when they say Barashat bara Elohim, the Elohim, the angels, the ones who created us. Mm -hmm. 
So like I said, you, you know, people are mistaken, like, oh, God was the one that did it. No, it was the angels that did it. But the thing you gotta find out, are you the angel? It's mom. Mom has his... Yeah, wait, this brother didn't get my Peace. The most high are all prophets. Um, it says here, yeah, but in their image, man will be dead. Plural. Elohim. Elohim means plural. Whenever you hear plural, it's Elohim. Yeah. Those are the those are the angelic hosts. Those are the angels. And then the one on ones, number ninety seven, was Elohim. Yeah, the, the seven eyes of Allah. It's Allah. Mom, please. Oh, please. We also read one of the ones that we don't I believe this question in 88, 87, where it speaks about the descendants of Adam and Eve, the Asiatics and Muslims. But we also understand that there ain't no one of the prominent prophets of the Tanakh who was born. There was a question on Moses' father because of his skin and his shining. When you look up the etymology of Moor, Etymology of normal, it means dark skin or shiny one, because you could be dealing with the reflection of light. So the esoteric and the historical mm-hmm. join when it's dealing with describing one of us as a people or as a level of knowledge. Because we were the caregivers and the teachers of the world. So it depends on how you look at it, but they all correlate. That is the case. Peace. Peace. So in the image, the um, image man was made in Allah's image. This means that every man has the soul, the ruah of the creator within him with the ability to exercise will, the ability to decide between right and wrong. This is not saying that man is Allah. It just means that man has the God-like quality which could only be given by the omnipotent creator. No man has neither seen Allah, nor can, no man has ever seen, neither seen Allah, or can in direct, or never came in direct contact with Allah on the physical plane. The Messiah Jesus had to remind the people of this in his time. Give me John chapter five, verse 37. And somebody could give me key one to four in the Lord's Quran. We're going to get this. So no one have ever came in contact with the Creator, Allah, the Supreme Being in life. And the Messiah, he had to remind the people about this. So when you read about, sometimes it says, Adonai, or the Lord, spoke the man. That was really an Elohim. That was an angelic being. That was not the Creator. That was not Allah. Islam. Islam. Uh, John chapter 5 verse 37. And the Father himself which hath sent me hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his shape. Say that again. And the Father himself which hath sent me hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his shape. Islam. So he had to remind the people, no one have never seen Allah, heard Allah's voice, or seen his shape. So people would be like, yo, y'all boys are spooky. <laughs> you know, you believe in something mysterious, but can you see the mind? Can the mind be tangible? Can you grab the mind? No. You cannot see the mind. If the all Allah is the mind, you cannot see or grasp the mind. The mind is infinite. It's, it's the infinite mind. So give me key one to four. And say, say, it, say it along with the brother when you say it. Keys one to four. Who made you? Allah. Allah. Who is Allah? Allah, Allah the Father, Father of the universe. universe. Can we see him? No. no. Where is the nearest place we can meet him? In, In the heart. heart. Do this corresponds with John... 537. Now, if you want to prove your point in the 101s with that, that you have a scripture to back up your claims. 